Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really, really good Christmas. Um, I guess the season is sort of over now, but I have my um, lovely Christmas tree still up and it is New Year's Eve today, I think. But I thought that it would be better late than ever to do my Christmas haul or what I got for Christmas video. Um, I, it's quite late because Cahill comes down a, a few days after Christmas and to me that's like the real Christmas, you know, where you give your boyfriend his gifts and stuff um, and you get your gifts, so... Um, that's why the video is late but I still hope that you enjoy the video. Um, I do have the FAQ video coming up, I'm going to film that next. Um, and yeah, that's about it, I just hope you all had a really good Christmas. Quick disclaimer out there, I'm so appreciative for everything I got. I don't get big things every Christmas, I don't ask for things. I just want to say that like my mom and stuff, like in terms of my stock filler, she never pays full price for anything. She gets everything in the sales, she always gets a discount on it, she always gets a better deal on it, she'll hardly ever pay pay full price for something and um, so don't think that like she's gone and spent like a ton of money because she's been collecting since like last January and that's what I do as well I collect my Christmas presents really really early like I was getting Kaha stuff like last February and last March in the sales and um, just so that I don't have to spend a lot when it comes around to the Christmas time and I think that's a really really good thing to do because you don't you're not gonna overspend at Christmas because you're so late at shopping and stuff so I just want to put that out there and um, but without further ado let's just get into the haul you're all probably wondering what Kahal bought me for Christmas who's my boyfriend if, don't, if you don't know um, and basically my main present was studio lights because they're something that I wouldn't have bought myself and um, but I really needed them like this this like daytime lighting is just cray and with such an expensive camera I use the Canon 600 d or the t3i if you're in america and basically lighting is everything with these cameras like you need studio lighting if you want good quality photos and i'm just sick of being washed out all the time or it being too dark and they're not the kind of videos that i want to put out there so i apologize for the bad lighting today but um it'll all be sorted in the near future like i said so they were my um, main present my new professional studio lights and i'm actually turning my room in belfast into like a filming room like a filming studio and my wardrobe and stuff so um, it'll just be used for that and I've, I'll have plenty of space to like film and stuff like that so I'm really really happy about that so that was my main present they're really really expensive and um, I will put the link for the ones that I got him to get in the down bar below um, and obviously he didn't bring them down here because I just have to drag them back up and um, he also got me Chanel number no. five perfume which I was pretty chuffed about um and what else did he get me he got me so, oh yes he got me this and i'm gonna have like a small little rant about this um, and it's the only time i will take up the video with rambling basically i got the american apparel easy jeans in indigo i absolutely love them but for feck's sake they were only on my body an hour like the tag is still on them and everything they're 74 freaking euro that's like 70 pounds right and for 70 pounds i would expect it to last for life and have the best craftsmanship of all time right and I know these are handmade in America you know they are subject to mistakes but I'm sorry there's factories in China being paid patences and the quality is so much better like I'm sorry but it is um and basically I had these on my body about 45 minutes I got it in a size medium so that's about half size to a size too big for me I'm a size 10 these are for a 10 to 12 and um, so there's plenty of room in them it, they weren't tight Basically, I had them on in front of my family and my little one-year-old cousin and their mum and dad and my mum and dad and Kahal. And basically, Kahal turned around and said, oh my god, Tara, your ass. Like, look at them. They basically, like, split up the arse, which is so embarrassing. Like, I'm absolutely just sick to death of American apparels. Um, what's it, like, cruddy? I don't know, it's the wrong word, but, like, just crummy quality and um, quality control and this was just like how did this happen to me like um they basically just split all the way up the bum there um and like I know this doesn't happen to everyone but just the fact it happened to me I'm sorry but a double um lap and fell stitch is way too strong for jeggings material that's the wrong seam for this kind of material um and you could just see it wasn't finished properly and they're definitely definitely faulty so um like i did like the annoying thing was like kaha stopped off in dublin for these like it's a six and a half hour trip and he added another hour onto it just to go pick these up in dublin for me and um, like he comes all the way down from northern ireland and 
the fact that I now have to pay a train ticket to go return these is really annoying like it's like 50 quid to get up to Dublin and back um, and I to be honest like they did I rang up I complained and they were really nice and um, they offered me a refund or a replacement but to be honest for me trekking up there to Dublin I'd expect a little bit more than that to kind of keep me as a customer and it's not my first issue with quality regarding American apparel so I'm just really really annoyed um, because I don't have any pants down here in Cork I only brought skirts and I have like these leather pants which I'm wearing now which are like size 14 and which are way way too big for me um, and then I have like one pair of jeans that's too big for me and nothing else so I was planning to live in these and now they're ripped so um, yeah American Apparel you failed me again don't even get me started on the quality of disco pants because I will just die um, yeah so I'm really unhappy with that uh, feel free feel free to post this video on the American Apparel Facebook page or tweet them or whatever because they never reply to complaint emails they never reply to Facebook's tweets nothing so just bombard them if you love me just bombard them Okay, on to like the really expensive stuff which I'm ridiculously grateful for Um, I'm just it's just on another planet and um, now before I show you guys I want to say that my dad went to Malaysia he got these a lot cheaper than you can well not a lot cheaper but a couple of hundred euro cheaper than you can get them here so it was stuff I needed it was stuff I was inevitably going to buy um, for school and stuff and it's just it was me just made sense to get them all together with a couple of hundred euro off so the first thing that I got was an iPhone and um, so I know everyone already has like an iPhone by now but um, I'm a total iPhone newbie I don't even use iPods like I'm just in awe of this and I absolutely love it it's the iPhone 4s I didn't really like the iPhone 5 so yeah I got this and I have my awesome like hollowed out case from it I was supposed to get these I know you see these on tumblr a lot I got mine from eBay I'll try and leave the link below but I actually meant to get it in gold and I got it in like a pewter color instead Um, so I'm gonna get the gold next but it basically just wraps her in the phone like that Um. And I love them, they're so amazing and I'm finally in the loop and I've got my Instagram apps, my Twitter apps so I can interact with you way more um, and as well be way more active on my, my Facebook page. So if you want to know like my Facebook fan page, everything, Twitter, it's all in the info bar below. But yeah, I got the, the white one and the 16 gigabytes so I really, really just in all of that. So that was the Christmas present. Um, and then as well for my parents, they got me a new i iphone no uh, a macbook pro and i actually do have a macbook pro already and this is obviously the laptop it just looks like these um and it's the 15 inch i already have the exact same one but it's just uh coming to five years old now and it's not keeping up with the stuff i wanted to do um and my dad really really needed a laptop because their pc is kind of crashing so he's going to take my old laptop and i get this one so be prepared for way 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 better quality videos i'll be able to do split screen now i'm so jealous of like youtubers doing split screen and fancy sound effects and stuff in their videos so i'll finally be able to do that with this baby and as well oh kahal bought me um a case for it this is just like um a clear case you can actually barely see that it's on but it's just a case for the top and the bottom um and he got this in the the Mac store as well so that's really handy because I always slide my laptop under my bed and it gets really like scratchy underneath so yeah that is my other big present but like I said it was something I was going to buy anyway and my dad just got it a lot cheaper in Malaysia so um yes I got those two and I'm super super chuffed I am in the technological loop okay now now I'm gonna fly through everything else you saw these before in an unboxing but they were an early Christmas present these are my Jeffrey Campbell Cleatas in the petrol um, color they're just black from the front they just look normal from the front black heel but then they have this awesome sort of um, petrol yellows greens purples on the both sides so you can kind of see your foot through them so you can wear like nice socks or just barefooted um, and yeah I got these in a size smaller than I usually get but they're absolutely fine and I was chuffed with those I got those on sale I would never pay full price for them um, and I got those from Soulstruck I think they're sold out now um, my best friend actually got me this and I love this and um, I love body shop stuff but again it's stuff that I wouldn't buy myself I don't really buy myself like fancy bath and body stuff but um, I'm not really a lush girl but I am a body shop girl um, and she basically got me this tin and it has four body butters in it and I have two of them on today it has hazelnut coca um coconut and uh chocolate and basically I have coconut of co where is it 
I don't know. I have coconut and chocolate on my body today and I love these. Oh my god, I can't remember the last time I had a body butter. I know I love the um, fruity shower gels, the orange shower gel, the mandarin one. <gasps> Addicted to it. Oh my god, and they last forever. So um, I love these and I've been putting this on my legs every day because I have dry ass legs. Um, my best friend also got me, who is her name's Yvonne. Um, she got me this gorgeous red bag from River Island, which is gorgeous. Just a book bag. And then actually from River Island as well, I got two River Island bags this year, which is really random because I have like no bags. I only have one handbag to my name. Um, so I got two this year, which is great. Um, I got this from my cousin's wife, um, who I mentioned earlier, and it's just gorgeous. River Island nude bag with nude studs on it and it's just got a long strap and um, with a gold chain on it and like I said it's just these gorgeous nude studs because I'm really really sick of um studs now I guess I'm just after I'm kind of over them now I don't really want to buy any more clothes with studs on them and um, I didn't invest in that trend too much because I felt like by the time it came into shops I was already kind of over it so um yeah I got the I love the nude ones I just think they're really different and this is a perfect bag for going out clubbing or just out during the day it has loads of room in it and um, it's kind of like a pouch so I love that and I will definitely definitely get to use that my mum got me these books she always gets me fashion books every year because she wants me to have like a nice collection and they're really really handy because then you don't really have to rent as much from the library but I basically got these two fashion books this is more illustration this one is like 60s and 70s so I really like those um, and oh she also got me this bracelet it came in this box um, Yves Saint Laurent um, and basically it's just this gorgeous charm bracelet it just looks like this it has the Yves Saint Laurent like long logo which I'll probably put on something else when this bracelet breaks if it does um, this YSL pendant with YSL on both sides and then a wee perfume bottle so um, yeah it's just like a three tier sort of bracelet and it's super pretty that is so my style so I'm really chuffed I got that um, I got what else did I get? Oh, on the line of books, I this is like the best book I've ever gotten ever. It is a Heinz baked beans book, and it basically has all these like gourmet recipes involving beans. And my mum got this in TK Maxx. She gets a lot of these books in TK Maxx. Um, and um, yeah, it's basically just all these different recipes. And I love beans. I love Heinz ketchup. I eat them with everything. I have beans on my plate or ketchup on my plate. And Kyle hates hates both of them with an absolute passion so when he saw this book he was just like that is disgusting but it's amazing it just basically has all these um recipes involving beans and the history and stuff so that's pretty amazing and as well on the topic of cooking stuff she also got me a, a like a cookbook stand so basically just goes out like that and then you know you rest your cookbook on it and I love to cook I really am a big fan of cooking I cook like six nights a week when I'm at um and when I'm in Belfast so loved those um chocolates of course you gotta get chocolates for christmas um i got this gorgeous calendar it's basically a paris sort of cityscape it has all the different um classic paris uh, parisian sort of places on it um and this is obviously 2013 calendar so i'll open this when i get to belfast i'm doing the 30 day shred at the moment so i'm marking it off on like a december calendar which is really stupid because it's going to go into January but um, I don't want to open this till I get back so I really really like that I also got this cute little Paul's Boutique purse from my mum with skulls on it um, and it's just I don't really like Paul's Boutique but this one's really subtle I really like this one so loved that this this is one this is actually one of my favorite things and I've been wanting a cake stand um, for my dresser for the longest time just to throw like my makeup bits my daily makeup bits on it um, and but I don't like ones like that are pink with cupcakes on them and stuff and I don't like the really really overpriced ones but my mum found this gorgeous black one I absolutely love the fact that it's black um, and it just basically has like a silver kind of thing through it and it's all like packaged up in this box here but I think it's really really cool I don't know where she got it but it's absolutely epic and I think lastly I think that's it I probably oh there's a few things that I'm not showing you till the next few um, beauty videos that I'm doing but the last thing I'm going to show you today is these awesome set of headphones and they're basically pink green and a luminous orange and my mom actually saw these on somebody and tapped them on the shoulder and asked them where they got them she's so like that um, and yeah this is pretty awesome and I've never owned headphones before so yeah these are going to be pretty awesome so these are going to go with either my laptop or my new iPhone that was my Christmas haul you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video please thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe if you want to see 
see more videos from me. I have some beauty videos coming up and some, I don't know if I'm going to have any fashion videos, but I definitely have lots of beauty videos coming up. And um, my FAQ video with my boyfriend is coming up next after this video too. I'm about to film that now. And yeah, that's about it guys. I really hope you liked everything that I got. And please let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video because I love reading your comments. And yeah, happy Christmas. Also, I really enjoyed watching everyone else's hauls. So that's why I actually filmed this one because I really do enjoy watching them. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video as always, like I always say. And yeah, hope you have a nice day and see you in my next one. Bye guys.